Alphabet's Verily is doubling down on its push to leverage tech in the health space, signing a six-year partnership with Pittsburgh-based Highmark Health. That partnership builds on an existing partnership Highmark Health already has with Google Cloud. And we've got Vivian Lee, who's the president of health platforms at Verily, Karen Hanlon, executive vice president, uh, chief operating officer of Highmark Health. And we've also got our very own Anjali Kamlani joining in on the conversation. Welcome to all of you. Uh, Vivian, let's start with uh, you. What are, can you speak to the timing of this partnership and, and how this really builds on this vision that Verily has put forward to try to utilize the tech that Alphabet has in this particular space? Sure, this is a very important six-year partnership with uh, Highmark, which is an integrated health system that really has a bold vision for creating a personalized health experience engaging their members, using technology to ensure that it's a really personalized experience, as well as using the technology to engage clinicians and physicians in their practice so that they can work together, partner effectively with their patients in order to ensure the best health outcomes and at the lowest cost of care. Essentially here, this question is for either of you, but I think we'll start with Karen. Looking at the way that uh, the healthcare is, uh, the healthcare space is said to be siloed, um, and you see that from the insurance standpoint, how does this actually help not, uh, or sort of bridge that, uh, despite the fact that you're going to be partnering with one person or one entity? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, you know, I think for Highmark, we um, are in both the payer business as well as the provider business. And so we're able to bring a unique perspective that, that maybe not other health systems are able to. In this particular case, our solutions are focused on not only the patient, but also the clinician and um, bringing the entire personalized care plan for any individual um, to both the patient and the clinician in the simplest, uh, most seamless way possible for them so that they engage. And I think you know, our objective in doing so is to break down maybe what some of those barriers have been in the past and make sure that we improve adoption through the deep engagement of the individual and their clinician in partnership. Vivian, a question for you. When we're talking about the idea that uh, bringing tech into healthcare is supposed to help, especially with uh, you know uh, AI and, and machine learning to help reduce the cost of healthcare, be able to do more predictability, especially for chronic care, which this is focused on. I, I wonder about the bringing down the cost part, because in order to do this, you do have to implement, especially if you're planning to grow this program uh, on a larger scale, how does that balance out and actually bring savings? Yeah, well, that's a really great question. And, you know, what we understand is really the lowest cost are the healthiest people. So if we're talking about working with individuals with diabetes or with heart failure or chronic lung diseases, for example, we want to be able to connect those patients with useful insights about their own health and connect them with their doctors and their nurses and their care teams to make sure that the, the right thing is the easy thing, that they're able to fill their prescriptions, that they're able to uh, manage their diets, wh whatever is necessary in order to keep them healthy. And the healthier they are, we know the lower the cost of their care, the less they're going to need high intensive care. And th that's really our goal is, is to really advance the health of the Highmark community and, and working really in close partnership with uh, a team of individu individuals who are just so deeply committed to that. And Dr. Lee, I mean, Verily's Healthy at Work program is pretty interesting considering it seems like a lot of different uh, entities are really focused around getting back into the office in a way that's safe for everybody. I wonder how many questions are raised, though, when you're kind of building out a platform like that uh, in terms of privacy concerns when it comes to employees uh, wondering uh, whether or not their test results are going to be out there. What kind of issues or maybe uh, solutions does Verily run into in that space? Well, you know, I, thanks for mentioning the Healthy at Work program. That's something that we've been very committed to over the last year with the rise of the COVID pandemic and, and really working closely with our partners to ensure that their employees and if they're universities, their students and staff as well, 
can get back to work and stay safely at work. And one of the things that we very much focus on is the security and the privacy of the data so that it is only used for its intended purposes, only with the with the um, consent of the individuals and that they're fully aware of how their data are being used. And we work in this case in our partnership with Highmark. Highmark has had a long and very deeply held and, and strong position in terms of the privacy and security of the data of its customers and its members and patients. And so in this way, I think we are both, we both very much share that, that commitment. I also wonder about the partnerships and, and growing that when you're looking to the idea of getting to the most in need. Recently in this country, we've talked a lot about minority communities, but also tribal nations. Uh, how do you plan to, to get to those knowing that they're really the highest cost patients, uh, but the most in need uh, balancing that out with being able to roll out a platform like this and find a partner for that? <laughs> Well, it, it, verily, everything that we do is really in partnership with others. And this partnership with Highmark is, is really one of the most important for us. And it reflects the way in which we think about how we build our platforms and how we ensure that what we're building meets the needs of all of the communities that we aim to serve. And in, in that way, it's, it's absolutely critical for us to have partnerships, uh, which we have established across the country, and across a wide range of communities. And Highmark serves the, that wide range of communities as well. And so going forward in the next six years, we're, we're really looking forward to, to working very closely with them because it, the, the experience that we're really trying to build is one that is deeply personal, that is customized and personalized, both in terms of the biology of an individual, you know, for example, continuous glucose monitors for people with diabetes, understanding what those individual blood sugar patterns are for people depending on their diet and exercise. And by creating a personal experience, we can really engage people who have all different kinds of backgrounds who come from all different kind of life situations and create solutions that work for them, whether it's that biological, physiological aspect or the ability to just simply connect in real time with people who can provide them good advice, whether it's a health coach, a pharmacist or a physician or a nurse. And working closely with communities to ensure that we build products can, that can do all of that is, is absolutely essential for our future and, and in this partnership with Highmark too. I'm glad you brought up the example of the of diabetes because uh, my question for Karen is, uh, we know that the pandemic has really brought to light the need for more telehealth, the need for more remote monitoring, and all of these are slowly making their way into pr the provider space. Uh, what have uh, you thought about at Highmark in terms of coverage of, of this and just sort of the expansion of services, but still focusing on the idea that controlling costs is a central key? Yeah, you know, core to the living health model of care that we're aiming to achieve is accessibility of health care. And we know that that will take the, the form of many different sites of care. Virtual has clearly been important through COVID. It's been, you know, one of those lessons learned. Um, and we expect that that will continue um, for, for the consumer to engage proactively in their health care. We have to make it accessible in whatever form they're looking for. And uh, part of that is being more pro proactive about health care and in doing so, being able to engage in the consumer in whatever setting is most convenient for them. So it's a core objective for us in terms of uh, what we're trying to achieve with the living health model. Well, appreciate all of you ladies uh, stopping by the show today. Vivian Lee, president of Health Platforms at Verily, Karen Hanlon uh, with Highmark Health and Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamlani.